Hey you guys, it's me. I'm here to talk about my hairstyle today and what I use to accomplish this. This is the front. This is the back. Very defined, very lovely. Um, so what did I use? Uh, I used my usual lock method uh, moisturizers, the Tresemme, the Be Mine, and my olive oil. Uh, and I used Gorilla Snot Gel mixed with some Eco Styler Gel. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, why would you use two gels in your hair? That's ridiculous. That's a lot of product. Well, this all started because a young lady named Shannon asked what a wash and go would look like using Gorilla, go, uh, Gorilla Snot Gel. And I told her that I would do a video on that. I was When I got the product, I was real skeptical because this is what it looks like. If... If you're a 90s baby, um, if you watched all that and you were raised on that stuff called GAC, that's basically what this looks and feels like. It's very slimy when you pull it up. I could even show you guys. You stick your finger in it. Very slimy stuff. So uh, when I actually got this product, I was really skeptical about actually trying to do a wash and go because... I just did not think it was the best thing to try to put in my hair. But I do keep my promises. I did say if anybody wanted me to try anything, I would do it. So I did it. And um, it took me, and this is going to sound sad and ridiculous, but it took me about an hour and a half to do my whole head um, as a wash and go. So it wasn't a fast process but that's also with having to detangle and lock um when i got uh, if you watched some of my previous videos i told you guys my texture here is a whole nother texture than like the back and when i got to this part of my hair it didn't curl up at all it actually felt like paste in my hair so it was it just did not look right so I was like okay what can I do I don't want to wash my whole head out so I grabbed my handy dandy eco styler gel old faithful and it what was good about it was I didn't have to use a lot of it I grabbed some in my hand and I raked it all through and it made my curls pop the downside is for all you ladies that don't like crunchy hard hair um, this, for the first day, I know I'm going to have crunchy hard hair because if you can hear it, it's crunchy, but it looks great. I'm loving the results. Uh, tomorrow, I know I'll, tonight I'll pineapple it and tomorrow what I'll do is spritz it with some water and there's enough moisture in it that it's going to eliminate the crunchiness. But for it to be this day, I don't mind the crunchies. I don't. But I love the results, so it may be something that I play around with for a while. I'll probably still use the gor Gorilla Snot. I am messing up the name of this product. I'm so sorry. I'm still going to use the gor Gorilla Snot Gel, and I'll blend in some Eco Styler and also oils and all that stuff um, because I do like the results. I do prefer this product um, for when I'm slicking my edges or I'm doing a straight back ponytail with my daughter because the hold is amazing. I haven't had any other product last at least two days in my daughter's hair. And as long as you wrap it properly, it does the same for me. So it's a really good product. Don't get me wrong. Is it a product that I would use on my wash and goes? That and that alone? No, I, I can't do it because... When I get to my crown, my my curls were not popping like this with just the Gorilla Snot. The following it with the Eco Styler really made it shiny, really made it pop, and it really did well with the product itself. And I also had to spritz my hair with water um, to accomplish this. So that is my long, drawn-out story about my hair today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys 
are having the best wash and goes that you possibly can. And maybe in the near future, I'll go ahead and show you guys my whole process of the wash and go with the gor Gorilla Snot and the Eco Styler. So till then, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Bye.